Good morning, my name is Carl and welcome back to SMA. Uh, this is going to be a quick video. Uh, so originally, uh, we were supposed to be in Hawaii for 24 days. We've been planning this trip for, I don't know, two, three years, I think. Uh, it was a, a one-time shot at work where I got an extra week off of work, so we were going to try to put it all together. but. With the coronavirus we had to fly back 11 days early because they were locking down the islands and you know if you i think they had it where if you were to make an island hop you would have to be in, in self-quarantine for 14 days and so there was just no point in going any further so we got a plane flight back and right now i'm in o'hare airport in chicago um so originally i was planning on doing a part two video to traveling during the coronavirus thing but last night on the flight here, I watched, and I know I should have watched this a few years ago, but I watched Creed. And um, there's a scene in the movie that just really got me. Suddenly I found myself just overwhelmed with emotion watching the movie. And it's uh, during the, the final fight scene. And um, Michael B. Jordan's character, Adonis, is talking about how he has to prove everybody wrong and Rocky's like you know prove what and he says you know prove that I'm not a mistake and so suddenly I just got overwhelmed watching that scene uh, I started getting very weepy which was not a great idea on a plane when everybody's worried about you know somebody's sick and suddenly I got watery eyes and you know, one of these things like oh god is this guy dying no he's just having an emotional reaction to the movie so you may be wondering, like, why would I do that? Why would I have that kind of reaction? And the reason is, is that that is sort of the truth of who I am. The idea of proving to the world that I'm not a mistake. You know, um, I was in accident when my mom had me. I was not planned in any way, shape, or form. And uh, I think that has stuck with me in a lot of different ways of, my family life growing up, I love my, my parents, but it was, let's say, challenging. I think that would be a fair statement. I wouldn't hurt anybody's feelings. And so I've always had this thing in my head that I have to prove myself. People will think that I'm a mistake, that I'm not a worthy person. And so the things that I do at work, the things that I do as a father, um, trying to be a good dad really matters to me. Um, trying to be a good husband really matters to me because I'm trying to prove myself that I am worthy of the life that I have. Um, and the reason I share this with you is because I think this may not be just me. I think other people probably feel this way too. That um, that you feel you may feel like you were a mistake. That things didn't go the way that you would want them to, and you have to prove the world wrong. So I guess I'm saying that you're not the only one who feels this way. I feel this way all the time. Um, you know, so many things that I do are trying to disprove that. Like I said, work. Um, I run children's ministries at church. Um, doing the YouTube channel. All these things are things that I'm trying to prove that I am a worthwhile person. Um, so I think this is something that we can probably share together. Um, and I don't think I have a whole lot more to say to it other than every day, for me anyways, is a new opportunity to prove that I'm a better person than the day before, that I'm going to continue to get better. I'm going to try to be a better person, be a better husband, be a better friend, be a better dad. I'm going to move forward. So thank you for listening to this little sort of heartfelt thing. Hope you have a great day. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're staying healthy. And I hope they get this thing under control. God bless and take care. See you later. Bye.